It is a little after 10 a.m. at Mirambo Integrated Early Childhood Development Center. Four and five year old school children are singing and dancing into their classes. In a few minutes, they will be starting their classes. Mirambo IECD Center in Kabale, Western Uganda, is a faith-based model ECD center set up through community mobilization with UNICEF support. The center provides early learning classes to children between the ages of three and six years in the area. In Mirambo ECD Center, and for many children worldwide, preschool is your first experience in a structured setting with teachers, and groups of children. It's an opportunity to learn to share, follow instructions, and begin the foundation for learning that will occur in the higher classes in school. Liz Haimba is a learning specialist and founder of Transformative Learning based in Kenya. She says that there are some basic things that need to be put in place to create a proper learning environment in an early childhood center. Smaller classrooms would be really good for children who are just getting into school. These kids usually you find need a lot more attention. Some of these children have difficulties with toileting. Some of them have difficulties um, with social skills. And at this point of school is where all these things are, are taught. So smaller classrooms would be much appreciated. Uh, a ratio of at least one teacher to less than 10 children would be appropriate. You know, if um, most public schools, uh, even in a preschool setting, you'll find 25 children in a class with just one teacher. You know, this is the same teacher who will probably need to deal with accidents, toileting accidents, will probably need to deal with a child who is unwell. And, and then what happens to the other children in that class? Providing a more tactile environment where children learn through various modalities would also be good in the sense that we can get cheaper materials for, say, modeling, where a child is able to model, use his hands to, to model something, uh, where there are more colors for drawing, where the, the, the facilities for the preschoolers are easier and more accessible to get to, for example, um, when it's time to eat that they can get chairs that are at their, their height and that they are at their level. Some of them have not been taught how to feed themselves at home. And there is somebody teaching them how to feed themselves. And even at the very onset that there is somebody who can even feed the ones who don't know how to feed themselves, you know. So resources can compromise a lot of things. And so maybe it is important to put a little more resources at this level than maybe at older classes. Yeah. Mirambo Integrated Early Childhood Development Centre in Western Uganda may not have small classes, but they are doing their best with the little resources they have. Besides having a class teacher, each class has a caregiver who assists the children to learn, especially the children with special needs. And learning aids are made from locally available materials like banana fibers. The Ugandan government has special guidelines that must be followed when setting up an ECD center. Kit Kasisi, the inspector of schools in Kabale district, says Mirambo ECD center is trying to fulfill the government's requirements. When we come to sanitation and hygiene facilities, mm -hmm. here we tell them the kind of latrines to put up for these children. Mm -hmm. And uh, they should be also rockable. And there they need to consider the special needs. Although they have just started, we hope in the near future they are going to improve on the current structures they have so that our young kids feel comfortable when they are squatting on those uh, stances, on those pits. According to these guidelines, 
whatever furniture is used for sitting and writing, it should be of proper size for children. Uh, the chairs should be within the range of 25 to 35 centimeters, that is in height. They shouldn't sit on too high or too low seats. The table should be flat topped and it may be of different shapes and big enough to allow free movement, especially when they are doing their activities as young ones, as you have seen. But there are other rules like uh, outdoor space has to be provided, oh, meals have to be provided. Administration and management, we are emphasizing the issue of having different management separate from that of a primary school. There is a lot that other developing countries in Africa can learn from Mirambo Integrated ECD Center in Uganda. You may not need much to start. Before the ECD program started at Mirambo, the children stayed at home because the nearby primary school couldn't enroll children below the age of seven. <laughs> Now, children are excited to come to school. <laughs> and from an enrollment of 25 children in 2012, the children have currently increased to 87 and growing. My name is Winnie Onyimbo for Trans World Radio. <laughs>